This is Trend Following Radio, where great thinking comes alive. Nobel Prize winners, legendary traders, best-selling authors, and the pros that know what drive us irrational human beings. I am your host, Michael Covell. Not filtered, raw, honest. That's my passion. I want to give some hope, some hope for a way to think about an absolute crazy situation, the crazy situation that we're all living in right now today. I'm looking at a headline, Washington Post, tech glitches, harassment, mar Fairfax County Schools online learning rollout. That might not mean a damn thing to you. And ultimately, it's just an example. It's not meant to mean too much to you, except for the example that I'm going to use today. But I grew up in Fairfax County. It's one of the wealthiest counties in the country. It surrounds Washington, D.C., with like five other counties, which leaves six of the 10 wealthiest counties in the United States of America surround Washington, D.C. Do I got to spell that out for you? A lot of guaranteed government jobs, a lot of guaranteed pensions, and a lot of $1.5 million McMansions. Sadly, and I don't say this because I did not have good experiences growing up, I did, but the place has changed a lot. So sadly, I have to say that that's where I grew up. But I did not grow up in what it has become. And it has become an example of failure. 100% abysmal failure. Now you might be saying, Mike, why are you so worked up? Failure, what are you talking about? It's one of the wealthiest counties in America. Fairfax County has a bigger budget than many states. Their school system is the envy. All the kids go to the great schools. They have so much money. You're right. They do. Because it's all federal jobs, boosting the real estate prices, giving school boards unlimited cash to do whatever they want. And this looks fantastic for decades. But then something happens. Then we have a moment. We have a crisis. And we quickly find out who is swimming naked, who is competent, who is a leader or not a leader. It's personal for me. I have a nephew who is a senior in high school. His school was stopped in March. I don't know what his exact graduation scenario will be. I don't know if he can start college on time. But I know one thing. The adults in his life, the politicians, the school board members, etc., of this very wealthy county where he goes to school, have fucked him. They fucked him royally. Just like the boomers have fucked the millennials. You don't like my language? Turn off. I don't fucking care. Because this is something we need to talk about. This is damn important. Let me calm down for a second. Let me stay on this example with Fairfax County and the schools. So they shut the schools down. Okay, I understand it. It's an unknown. It's uncertain. What the hell do we do? We don't want the kids to get sick. I get it. Okay, in March, we shut them down. Now, what's the backup plan? It's 2020. Online learning is ubiquitous. There are online universities. Again, we are talking about one of the wealthiest counties in the country. Unlimited money. After schools being closed for a month, people now have finally got around to the idea of online learning in Fairfax County. So they roll it out. And back to the headline that I read at the top of this article. Tech glitches, harassment, mar Fairfax County Schools online learning rollout. Now think about that headline, tech glitches. You mean the people that run Fairfax County are not responsible for their tech glitches. They're the ones that made the purchase. They're the ones that had no backup plan. But here's where it gets really sinister. Here we are in a time of crisis, arguably a time of war. I have friends in Fairfax County, people that run in these educational circles. 
So what's this harassment headline all about? Well, it turns out, not surprisingly, because I probably would have been a similar jackass when I was a 16-year-old boy, but they let kids log in and there's no rules. So you make up screen names, you can go into chat forums, say whatever. Guess what? Kids are saying crazy stuff. They're saying insulting stuff, harassing stuff. But behind the scenes, instead of being worried about educating these kids who have been taken out of school for a month, the senior leaders, and I've seen the email, the senior leaders at Fairfax County Schools are talking about whether or not they're protecting the identity of transgender students. So here we are in the middle of absolute chaos. The kids are out of school. This should be about triage. This should be about helping the most kids as possible. And the leader is worried first and foremost about giving kids that might have a transgender issue name protection. So they've stopped the online schooling system for a week to figure out what to do. Now think back to the headline. Tech glitches, harassment, mar Fairfax County Schools online learning rollout. It wasn't tech glitches. It was incompetence. It was absolute morons running the system. The head of the schools, the school board, absolutely terrible. This is one example, one little personal example to me. Now here we are in the middle of chaos and we have to trust at the town, city, county, state, and federal level that their decision-making is not going to be in the same headspace as the decision-making that I just described for Fairfax County Schools. And no, I'm not only talking about identity politics. I'm talking about incompetence at every level of government. Because you see, we've lost sight of something in America. Government is not your daddy. It's not your savior. You are your savior. You are the person that has to put the boots on and go to work. Now, of course, if 50% of America has no money, if 50% of America is on welfare, and all of a sudden a pandemic happens, and all of a sudden we now find out the leaders are not so bright, what are we left with? We're left with right now. We're left with absolute chaos. But I said at the top of this show, I want to be hopeful because I am hopeful. I'm agitated right now because I'm having to look at this stuff. And I have to think that my fellow Americans actually act like this. Not all by any stretch, but a lot. And they're just not built for a crisis. A crisis requires decisive leadership. A crisis means no bullshit. But I do predict that if this continues, we are going to see something like decisive leadership come back to the United States of America. Because right now, we've just got a bunch of punchy people that have no business in leadership. Now, some of you might be saying, well, Mike, if you're so damn opinionated, why don't you be a leader? Why don't you go run for office? I can't begin to educate what machine politics are and how the United States of America works. But let's put it this way. People want to talk about one-party countries or, for example, communist countries or totalitarian countries. The American system doesn't work how you think it works. The community that I grew up in, the local government, it's been controlled by four people back to back to back for 50 years. So yes, I'll be honest with you. I have no desire to go through the system that one has to go through to be a leader in the United States of America. No desire. 
no desire at all. I prefer to be on the outside, leading a life, making good observations, and helping people. Actually helping people to understand how this system works. And look, it's brutal when it comes to Wall Street right now, too. The United States Federal Reserve is making up money out of thin air. Supposedly, we can buy the economy and support everything. For how long? God only knows. You say you're a fan of Milton Friedman? You say you're a fan of free markets? Well, that shit's gone. There ain't nothing free about American markets now. They're fucking rigged. Now, I'm not complaining. As a trend-following guy, I'm like, hey, whatever way the markets go, that's how I'm going to end up making money. I'm not trying to make a fundamental prediction here. This is more of a call to action. Observe what's going on. Make good decisions because we're in the middle of a freaking crisis. That's more what's got me energized today. But I keep coming back to that word hope. Here is a way to think about hope. Let's assume your job that you had is gone. Even if you get it back, let's say you were working at a restaurant. Do you think the same demand is going to be there? Or an airline or a hotel? And if the same demand is not going to be there, they're going to cut staff. Any way you slice this, the old way is gone. They have the expression at Amazon, every day is day one. We're definitely day one now. What you did and what you thought before Corona, if you did not have a robust way of thinking, it's over. So what can you do? For some, the what you can do is going to be a radical shift. And it's not going to happen overnight. But here's one great concrete example. Go find 50 of the books that have been featured on this podcast. 50 of those authors. There's a lot more than 50, but find 50. You can scroll through at trendfollowingradio.com and see really quickly the names, the books, and buy them. Make an investment and start reading. Because there is no quick money now. If you're out right now and you were not built to be robust... You have to learn to be robust. In some ways, it's like starting over. Because if you trusted the system, if you trusted the man to take care of you in the form of a job with steady, consistent earnings, it's gone. That mindset is over. It's not there anymore. So how do you reboot? Where do you start? I just gave an example of where to start. I'm not being cocky. I'm not trying to say I know it all, but I was built for a time like this. I can be anywhere. My mindset can be anywhere. I can adjust or adapt on the fly because I'm all that, because I'm great. No, a lot of practice, a lot of thinking very, very differently than most people. Again, not cocky, just the way that I unfolded. But the way that I unfolded, that experience that I can give back, that's the hope. There's a lot of people like me. There's a lot of smart voices. But if you're in that ditch, if you're in that hole and you're still digging, get out, reassess, cut back, and take yourself to school. Not a formal school, not a degree school, a book school, a podcast school. Get the right mindset. You want to know how I really think right now in the middle of this pandemic? Go watch the opening speech of the movie Patton. That's how I think. Because this is a war. It's absolutely a war. It has to be a war mindset to survive, to thrive, to win. If it's not, You're going to be given whatever you get, and you might not like that. Also, if you go to the footer of my website, trendfollowing.com, you'll see books that I like. I think it's called Mike's Recommended Books, something like that. Go in, buy a handful, 
grab some attitude, grab some new ways of looking at the world. It's time. This is go time. Maybe you thought after the dot-com crash, it was going to be time for a big change. Then the Fed stepped in and saved you. Maybe you thought after the real estate crisis, it was going to be time for a change. Then the Fed stepped in and saved you. There's no saving now. I mean, I'm not saying the markets won't go up. That's not my point. But there is too much of a lack of demand clearly on the horizon. And the lack of demand is going to be there because of this virus. This is going to torch economies. It's going to torch savings. So, okay, there's the rough and ready. We're in the middle of a shitstorm perspective. But, 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 this time period offers so much opportunity, it can make the head spin. We are now faced, if your eyes are wide open, if you're open to the possibility of right now and not thinking about what you had before, but if you're open to right now, the possibilities for success are endless. Yes, it's going to take some grit. It's going to take some moxie. It's going to take some innovation. It's going to take some elbow grease. It's going to take you pushing and striving. But I got to tell you, I wake up every damn day right now excited. Yes, I'm lucky. I'm in a protected environment. I have food. I have my health. And I think most people do. The reality is this virus is affecting a small number of people. The vast majority of people are not sick. And they're not going to be sick. So the opportunity for you to find some success outside of the system, outside of the thinking of something like the Fairfax County school system, a bunch of politicians and bureaucrats who have done nothing in their life except collect degrees. They have no fucking experience on to handle a goddamn fucking thing. And yes, those are the people in charge, but those are not the models. Those are the people to avoid. There's nothing on the news that's going to inspire you for the next opportunity, for the next possibility. But those voices exist. Poke around my world. You can see who influences me. And then poke around those influences. Get yourself in a new headspace. I'm telling you, the opportunities right now at this point in time in human history are off the charts. Now, sure, don't sit around and be envious of Jeff Bezos and Amazon. But you might think of a way that you could do something better than Amazon. Because I got to tell you, I won't be surprised at all if there is that young guy out there or that young team out there that comes up with the Amazon killer because they do something better. I wish everybody health, safety, happiness. I apologize if anything I said today was a little too strong. Actually, I really don't apologize. It's a good filter. If you think I'm a little too rough, if you think I'm a little too tough, if you think I'm a little too crazy, you don't have to listen. I sleep like a baby nonetheless. I see a time when those awake will understand how to make money in up, down, and surprise markets. Whether new trader or experienced, college student or financial advisor, protecting against a crash or just trying to make a lot of money, Trend Following offers everyone an answer in uncertain times. To get started immediately, send me an email, michael at covell.com. I will send you the right trend following steps to take along with my free video. But if you want to buy and hold, trust the government and trust Wall Street. This is absolutely not for you.